So let's talk, just talk about Cadell Daniel, who you've brought in today mm. uh, from Charlton. Tell us a bit about what floated your boat with regards to Cadell. Well, he's an exciting player. Um, he is someone who wants to get his career going, um, and we hope we're the platform for him to do that. Fits the bill, contracts up, end of the season. Um, so that type of player that we can get in now to to sort of have a look at, he has a look at us, and hopefully it's a good match. Could it possibly possibly be then that you know if he plays well in the next month or so, and you like him and he likes Torquay, that that could be a sort of player that comes in on a, on a full time yeah, basis? That, that's that's the perfect scenario for for lots of these sorts of players. Um, you know, he's an exciting player. Predominantly plays on the right hand side, drifting in on his left, but um, can play both wings and and up top. And it does fit the remit of what I want to do. If, if players' futures aren't here, then we want to help them uh, to, to facilitate their moves. Um, but for us to, to go forward, we need to be looking at that type of player. It's no point just getting a, a sort of aimless loan in. It, it's got to be with a view to something, really. And I guess Cadell coming in is a, is a, is a replacement for, for Jordan Chappell who's gone to Grimsby. Yeah, that's right. Um, we wish Chappie all the best and thank him for his efforts here. Um, he, he definitely matured a lot towards the end of his time and um, he, you know he's a, he's a player that, that we like but he, he, he saw his future elsewhere and closer to home and, and, and that's fine. Let's talk some matters on the field then. Um, I won't dwell too much on Woking. But obviously, a great start to the game. Mm. What needs to change in order to in order to carry no, we, those good starts through for ninety minutes? Yeah, we can't we can't dwell on it. We have to look at it, don't we? Because mm. it happened. We were fantastic for long periods. First half was was at was at times excellent. And when you're that much on top, you've just got to see a team off. And we had three or four chances to to, to make it three nil. Didn't happen. Second half, we knew they'd throw the kitchen sink at us because that they have to win games to get in the playoffs, and it was just a case of individual errors, and that's unfortunate. But as a group, we look at the positives and say, look, you, you know, for, for for long periods, you you, you were outstanding. Um, a little bit of naivety, and maybe power on their front. Let's give them credit. More power in some areas. Second half, and. And, and we've got to nurture again because there's no point in going in there and and, and saying things that are going to finish these players off. They, they need help. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's what we do and go to look to win at Southport. How tough is this period for you at the moment? Very, but it's my job. Mm -hmm. It's a great job. Very lucky to be in this job. Uh, enjoy it. Um, it's stressful, but it is for everybody else in their jobs in life, isn't it? So <laughs> that, that's life, yeah. you know, it's, it's, it's a brilliant and proud position to be in and I, I appreciate it. I just want the players to, to have the, f the same fight, desire, motivation, ambition as I do. The next four games, if you look at it on paper, look like four very good opportunities mm. to pick up nine, mm. ten, twelve mm. points. You look at Southport below you, Dartford yeah. below you, yeah. Altrincham below you, Aldershot below you. Is that how you see it as well? As, as a well, good it's always how I see it. Yeah, yeah. it was how I but saw it. But in particular, it, yeah. these four yeah. games coming up, because they're Absolutely. Boring, it was how I saw it before Braintree, Chester and uh, whoever else we played. Um, it doesn't always work how you think it will in your mind. But yes, we have to pick up some, some wins and get as many points as we can and, and, and climb up this table. And that's what we aim to do. Southport, where do you see their strength lie? Well, again, we know what we're going to be facing. We know that we're going to be facing um, a big, strong team that are playing percentage football. There's nothing wrong with that because in lots of circumstances, it's the right thing to do. We've just got to cope with that. We've got to stand up and, and defend 1v1. We've got to cover. We've got to do all the ugly things that, that enable us to go and play. Because if you don't do that, you're not able to play at any point. We sort of got both right the other night, um, but again, those 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 basic one v one situations that you work on all week, 
you, you want the players to go yeah. and, and, and carry that out for you on a, on a Saturday. Let's look at the team news. Apart from the obvious, Cadell being in the squad, I presume, and, and Jordan Chappell clearly not. Fitness-wise, how is the rest of the squad looking? Um, Fitness-wise, John Campbell's out. He won't make the weekend. And What's his injury? His hamstring. Ryan Bowman. Serious one or just a tweet? Um, ten days, another ten days. Ryan Bowman, 50-50. Um, Louis Briscoe, 50-50. What's the, what's the, the score with, with, with um, Ryan Louis? Just tightness, tight muscles. So that 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 can go either way. And other than that, I think we're Aaron Dawson mm -hmm. didn't train today. So th there's there's a few sort of niggles and tired bodies here and there because they've played a lot of games. Mm -hmm. No doubt about it, they've played a lot of games. But we, we've we've still got enough in the squad to to go there. It's it, we are short. Um, as to what we have been this season, but it's it's getting towards that time where, as I say, we're not the only club. You need to start planning. You need to start restructuring. You need to start looking into what we're going to be doing going forward. So it's it's all about that now. Uh, but on the field, for sure, it's win games. That never changes.